quite, it's nearly the end of the walk. Well, it's not actually, it's about three quarters of the way, but I won't be videoing that much on the way back. I've done all the intensive stuff, but I'm going down the little track. Up earlier, I was up there. I'd walked along there. This was the other way, I was going, coming from that way, then heading all the way up towards the hide. That's just a small, like, barrier type. Um, I had a little picnic there. I refreshed myself there. I had a picnic. I decided to follow this track because I do like to explore. Um, okay, it's easy to think if you just go back the way you come, but I haven't done that. And that's when I find stuff, like I found that chapel when it was open, St Andrew's, that was amazing, and a couple of videos back, and, I was, and it was open, and they provided a lovely seat, so you could watch the, the Swifts and the House Martins, and possibly Swallows, I'm not quite sure, until I look at the photos in depth. Uh, I had a bit of a, I wanted to spend longer in the hide, but I mean, obviously a bloke came in. I had no idea who he was or anything. He was he had all his equipment. He had all his equipment with him. And um what was gonna say? Yeah, he had all his equipment with him. And he seemed a really nice bloke actually, because I said to him, Oh, you know, what about the cows and all that sort of thing? And uh, he said, oh, no, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. But they weren't. They were making, they were staring at me, standing and staring. There was only two of them. They were black bulls. I thought, I don't, I don't care. You've got a bike, mate. So I decided to go round. I didn't stay in the hide as long as I wanted to, but I found the chapel. There isn't a lot in the hide. Once you've been in it, unless you're a bird watcher, it's just a hide, like all the others, except it's on legs. I took loads of, loads of photos of it. Then I got caught in stinging nettles, um, because I had to find my way down on the coast a bit, you know, by the beach area, which was all thick reeds and brambles and all that. And uh, I managed... I had to climb over a barbed wire fence into the field where the black cows were, but further away from them, in order to get to this gate to follow the coastal path. So I'd done all that, but I thought, no, I didn't really want to follow the coastal path yet, because it takes you right over there. I mean, earlier I'd thought about following, I thought, no, she would have to take you miles away from Cumhedge. Don't, don't do it today. So basically, I, um... What did I do? I, uh, I climbed over the fence, that's right, got over the barbed wire. So I'm getting good at getting over a barbed wire now. I know how to, I put, I put my top over it, fit, you know, doubled it over. I used my bag to protect my hands. And I got in the field with the cows and they stood up and they started mooing at me in a deep moo. They, they were bulls. Anyway, I managed to get in the gate. They weren't, I don't think they would have bothered me, but they were staring at me. They stared at me for as long as they could see me. And I do like cows, you know. So I had to do a diversion, which is not uncommon with me. If you know me, you know I often do diversions. And, uh, and I climb in brambles and stinging at us, and I got bloody well stung bad. And I forgot to bring me and I got to stop bringing the and to hear some cream out. Anyway, there's some cows there, look. Nice little cow, isn't they? This is a beautiful evening, by the way. I'm really enjoying it. Look at all the beauty as I walk along this English country lane. Anyway, after a while, I did stumble across a stinging nettle style which would lead me back to the track I wanted to get on, which is what, what the cyclist was using, a grass track, very, very remote, passing this beautiful building, which is, uh, looks um, French, but with Nor a lot of Norman stuff around it. I think it's quite old, uh, the foundations and whatever has been there before. But I've taken lots of photos of it. It used to be pink, 
and now it's um they've painted it. It looks like it's been done up, but it looks empty. Now, if it hadn't been for some people hovering I'm uh, further up the lane, I would have got in the garden and gone and had a look. So it looked to me like it's um, just being maintained. Uh, it, there was no for sale sign, but it looked empty. It had a feeling of emptiness about it. I'd love that house. Anyway, there's another hide over there that I went in earlier. Baking hot it was in that one. They're all closed now, of course. Um, that's called the Polden hide. I got some leaflets when I was in there. Um, there's a nice cow munching away there. I am enjoying this. I, I love this, you know. I don't even mind coming down country lanes like this because this is like a remote place. There's not really much. It doesn't take you anywhere. It's a dead end at Stirrett, you see. Um, so I'm, I'm just... My, I am beginning to... My feet ache more than anything. Um, these aren't the best of shoes. I didn't wear my walking shoes. These are tr trekking shoes. They're supposed to be okay. They're supposed to be okay, but... They don't build them like you used to. When you used to spend a lot of money on shoe, you got your value years ago. I mean, I, when I used to do marathon running, I always bought really good Reeboks, always. It was best to pay the extra money so that they didn't all wobble and they supported your foot. Um, these are supposed to be good for 30 quid, but basically they're not. Now, I bought a pair for £100 not long ago. But they're more like, not really for hot weather, but I mean, they are for hot weather. If I was going to go trekking on them end -ups. But even on a day like this, it would probably would have been of benefit to me. Because I had to do a lot of grass walking on the stubble, stubbly grass, I call it. Right, now, since we're at the Polden one, we passed the other hide. <sighs> Normally we were walking up the top there, don't forget, but I've decided to explore and find other routes because I found there where you could actually come drive up and have an, a small walk, maybe with a child or something, or somebody who didn't want to walk far. You, you know, you could do a small walk for them, um, but you could drive. Or even when I'm older, if I'm still driving, but I could get somebody I would know. I'd say, oh no, go out there. But I'm not thinking that ahead yet. I'm still trying to keep fit, like a bit fit. Um, I've still got a, 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 a quite a decent amount of water left. There's not, it's not really far now. To be quite honest, I'm going to be at that. Um, I can't remember what you call it. Stop.